Welcome back to Boston 25 Sports in Depth. We turn things over now to Butch Stearns for our next story featuring a familiar face in an unfamiliar setting. I want to introduce you to Jay Hodge. He started with nothing, but is now one of Boston's top celebrity chefs. Jay owns multiple Boston restaurants. He's good friends with Guy Fieri and a regular on the Food Network. And he's written a book about his life's journey titled From Beirut to Boston. And that journey recently took him into the ring to fight for something he believes in very deeply. Jay Hodge is a fighter. He's been fighting his whole life. Sub 2 one, one. Good. And Jay's life and the lessons he's learned, he loves talking about that. Every great story I hear, like success, comes from a starting off as a dishwasher. Most chefs don't measure. They just do it by taste. I make money, everybody makes money. You can't take all the credit because nobody made it by themselves. But Jay has made it from the humblest of beginnings. When he was eight, his parents fled war-torn Lebanon and moved to America. The civil war in Lebanon was very tough in our family. So they came to this country not knowing anything about this country. I thanked them every day for making that move. I don't know if I could do it. In America, Jay started working in his teens. At 18, he opened his first restaurant. And at 25, he bought Mike's City Diner in Boston's South End. Mike's City Diner is a small diner in the South End. We specialize and we're very well known for all American comfort food. We just serve no shortcuts, all homemade food. We're well known and I'm, I'm proud of it. We've won many awards that I'm, a, I'm proud to say. We've even won uh, best uh, turkey sandwich in uh, America by the Food Network. Nearly three decades later, Mike's has become a Boston institution. And through the Food Network, Jay has become a celebrity chef himself and close friends with Guy Fieri. He's a great guy. Good, good. This is amazing. He's one of the reasons why I am very successful in this business. Recently, Jay wrote a book, Beirut to Boston, a rags to restaurant story. We started as giving them a bunch of recipes, then each recipe kind of had a story of my life. And Jay's life has been rich with great stories, but like many people, his story includes cancer. You know, cancer, who hasn't it hit, you know? And in my case, you know, many of my family members, my, my, my dad. One second. Jay's dad suffered through bone cancer before he passed away. But cancer has also hit his in-laws and his wife, too. I know how tough it is. I, I, I've seen family go through it. I've, I've gone through it. Uh, it. It's very hard. So like everything else in his life, Jay is attacking things head on, getting in the ring on May 15th for the latest Haymakers for Hope to raise money for cancer research. Jay Hodge is doing great. He's training really hard. What a great thing where, you know, he gets to find out about himself, go through something really hard like boxing, training for this fight in front of all these people, and what a way to symbolize what all those cancer patients are going through. Sione is the best. As soon as I started training with him, he brings the best out of me. And Jay is bringing out the best in himself for the greatest cause. If there's a cure, when the cure comes, it will be a great day. Yes, it will. Great update on Jay, who fought Thursday night at the House of Blues. Turns out that Jay's fight was the shortest fight of the night. It only lasted one minute and 18 seconds. He won by technical knockout, but most important, he raised a ton of money. At last check, over $38,000, and that is not including $10,000 that Jay pledged to match as he sought donations. So nearly 50 grand to fight cancer. I would call that a job very well done. Thanks to Butch for that story.